What's going on guys? Thanks for checking out another video on my channel. So if you read the title of this video, you'll see that there is an issue that the CF Moto 450 SS has. I'm not going to do one of those videos where this is a complaint video. You know, like I hate those videos where people complain all the time about their motorcycle or whatever product they're talking about. I really hate those videos. Like when people say, here are the top five things I hate about my motorcycle. I'm not going to do a video like that because typically those type of videos come out and the people tell you how much they actually really like what they're riding uh, but they find uh, just something to complain about. They just want to complain. So they find five little things to moan about and tell everybody how much they uh, how much they hate something that they really don't hate. So what I'm going to talk about today is a very minor... Ooh, bumps right there. What I'm going to talk about today is a very minor issue that I believe almost all CF Moto 450 SS buyers up until this point are possibly experiencing are they're probably experiencing so these bikes have a break-in period of 600 miles you can go 600 miles before you really have to do your first oil change and your service on your bike the problem is you have to find the right oil filter and cf moto does make an oil filter obviously that fits the bike because they made the bike and they ship the bike with an oil filter in it but the dealers don't have them in stock and even online if you find one online you may order one like I did, like I ordered one online thinking that it was in stock and a week later I sent the company an email and said, hey, I didn't get any kind of shipping confirmation on this yet. When are you going to ship it out? And they told me it was on back order. So you buy a brand new bike and then you have to be very careful how many miles you put on it because you don't want to go past break-in and not do an oil change. Manufacturers tell you that you need to baby the bike during break-in period just to get everything ready to go everything lubed up and everything used to functioning and i don't know the technical terms on things i just like to ride bikes but i kind of understand why they tell you you need to have a break-in period and not everybody believes that you have to really worry about breaking in your bike you know i've talked to guys that say hey those bikes are already broken in once you buy it new just get on it and ride it like crazy but i'm one of those weirdos that feels that i'm gonna you know do what the manufacturer says for the first 600 miles make sure that i don't redline the bike make sure that i don't uh do any kind of really heavy braking or acceleration or anything too wild and crazy on the bike until it gets through the break-in period and then i do want to do an oil change as they suggest and i want to use the proper engine oil weight in the proper engine filter she looked a little bit scared didn't she I'm not really sure if CF Moto didn't send enough oil filters to the dealers or whether the dealers didn't order enough oil filters. I don't know who is really responsible for not getting the engine oil filters out there for people that need them, uh, but there was a back order and a delay on getting them. Now it's actually a really minor issue because they are becoming available now. In fact, I did receive confirmation that my oil filter that I ordered online is going to be shipped and it's supposed to arrive today so i'm going to be good i'm going to be able to do my first oil change on this with no problem and then tomorrow i'm actually going to stop at a cf moto dealership in mechanicsburg down at Carnes performance which is the dealership that i bought my cf moto 300 ss from going to stop there tomorrow because i called them today and they told me that they do have the oil filters for the 450 ss in stock now so i want to get a spare in case i need it and I already know there's going to be a bunch of crazy people out there that are going to comment on this video that are going to say that's why you don't buy a CF Moto motorcycle because the parts aren't available for them and you're going to have issues and all this kind of stuff. But that isn't true. I mean, this would happen on any brand that had a brand new model and a brand new oil filter out. You know, I mean, it could happen. I'm not going to say it would happen, but it could happen. It happens on cars. It happens on motorcycles, on ATVs, on any product out there, something brand new. And fortunately, I believe that that delay is now fixed because, again, I have one coming supposedly today. Tracking says it's coming today, so that's good. And I'm going to pick another one up tomorrow down at Carnes. So we're going to be good on that. Hold it right there. Hold it right there. That UPS truck might be heading to my house right now with my oil filter on it. So the good news is for anybody with a CF Moto 450 SS, if you've been looking for an oil filter, contact your dealer now because they're starting to get them in or check out online. The dealers and the places are starting to get them online. What have we got here? Honda Ruckus. You want a race man?
So I know there's some guys that say they found a K&N oil filter that actually matches up and it works really well. I have not done that yet. But again, use caution before you, you know, put something that somebody tells you to put on your bike. Make sure you match it up yourself. Check with your dealer maybe so that you know uh, you're doing the right thing because the last thing you want to do is put the wrong oil filter in your bike when you do an oil change and mess something up. If you have a CF Moto 450SS like I do and you have any kind of issues, you want to leave a comment down below for other people to answer. Maybe other people have the same thing. Or if you're having the same issue that I'm having or that I had where it has been hard to find an oil filter for it, let me know what area you're from, where all you've reached out to, uh, what your dealer is saying, or maybe you found a different type of filter. Like I wouldn't mind using the k and I think K&N is a great brand, but I'm not 100% sure which K&N oil filter everybody is using so i am going to go with genuine cf moto for the oil filter and then for my oil i've always been a big fan of motul i know it's a little bit expensive but i like motul oil so i'm going to be doing my first break-in oil change on this bike real soon now that the oil filter is supposed to be here today and i guess if I, yeah, like i said if it doesn't come today i'm going to have a spare i'm going to pick up tomorrow down into mechanicsburg at karns performance anyway guys thanks for checking out another video on my channel i really appreciate it there is merch linked in the description below if you want some rob salutely or sport bike life merch it's down in the description below or go to robsolutelymerch.com